and you got your new computer, you turn it in, turn it on, and you say, hey, I'm ready to go, I'm going to start exploring the internet. Wrong. What you need to do first is install an antivirus. Then you also need a good firewall, and you need a good anti-spyware. And this first, part of this first part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you a good antivirus to put on your computer. Now, automatically, most computers already come with an antivirus, um, like Norton or McAfee. Uh, that's, you know, pretty much pre-installed already. In my opinion, I think you need to go ahead and go to Start, Control Panel. Once you're in there, uh, if you want to click the, uh, the regular Control Panel, you're going to go to Uninstall Programs and go ahead and uninstall that antivirus because McAfee or Norton uh, is not very good antiviruses. They are really bad antiviruses, so I would never use McAfee or Norton. Also, you want to only have one antivirus installed on your computer, so make sure you uninstall any other antivirus that you have uh, before you install Avast or any other antivirus, because you can only have one uh, on your computer. If not, it will, you will mess up your computer. But before you do that, um, go ahead and go to uh, your internet browser which you should already have in the Explorer, but eventually you want to switch to Firefox uh, because in the Explorer is not a very good browser, but we'll use in the Explorer for right now. Okay, and once you open up your in the Explorer, you want to go ahead and go to uh, cnetsdownload.com. Once you're in cnetsdownload.com, you're going to type in uh, FS. FS is a good free antivirus. Um, of course, there are a bunch of other ones like AVG, um, Komodo's uh, antivirus, um, uh, Threatfire, is, which is another good uh, antivirus, uh, and they're free. Uh, a good pay, a good one that you pay for will probably be uh, uh, Trend Micro. Micro, that's a good paid one. Uh, there's a plenty of other good uh, antiviruses out here, but this is the one I like to use, and it's free. Okay. And while you're on uh, cnetsdownload.com, you're going to scroll down a little bit. Uh, don't go to the advertisements that they got here. What you want to go to is where you see it right here. And then has the download link over here. As you can see right here, the editors gave it five stars. And uh, the users gave it almost five stars. But still, great antivirus. If you want to read a little bit about Avas, just click right there. And it'll take you to this page right here. And you can watch a video on it, which they have a, a nice little tutorial on it. You can watch that. I uh, read a little bit about it. And then you can go down here and see what the reviewers say about it. But uh, when you're ready to download, you can either click here. Or if you was on the previous page, you just click on where it says download now. Okay, whenever it takes you to the next page... This right here is going to pop up. Uh, I don't like for it to always pop up on me. So, And up here, it's going to ask you to right click and download the file. Uh, then you're going to see this warning come up. Yes, you want it. I would want to go ahead and save this. That way, if I need to put it on another computer or something like that, or you know, you have to reinstall Windows on your computer again, you'll have the setup for that and you don't have to go online and find it. From here, you just pick where you want to download it at. I like mine to go to my desktop and then I hit save. I already have it so I'm not going to uh, click it but you hit you click save. You know what I went ahead and downloaded it anyways but uh, here you go uh, once you're done right here you should have this right here uh, you can click on run if for some reason you missed this part you accidentally click off of it go to where you downloaded it at which is like mine I went ahead and downloaded it to my desktop and it's right there just double click on that and it should start the install process but anyhow let's go ahead and install this so I'm gonna click on run okay um, now we're gonna go ahead and set it up it's English okay then we're gonna click next next I agree oh by the way I paused the video while I was installing some other stuff next so if yours installed a little bit different, that's why. 
next. Okay, I'd like to go ahead and keep it on a typical install. Okay, and uh, like I said, I paused the video again while I was finishing up some more install. Uh, again, if yours take a little longer than what is shown on the video, that's why I paused it. Um, now it says right here, do you wish to schedule a boot time antivirus scan of your local hard disk drive? What this means is it's going to do a boot scan. Whenever you restart your computer, it's going to start scanning before it boots Windows up, uh, which that's a good thing. That way, you know, it will scan everything before everything starts running and catch any viruses that might be on your computer. So I like to go ahead and click yes uh, so that it will do a boot scan. And then it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Then once you do that, uh, it's going to come back on. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, and go ahead and let it restart now. And uh, I'll be back as soon as it restarts. Also, I'm not going to show you the boot scan process because uh, um, I don't have my virtual machine set up. Okay, once you have restarted your computer, you'll notice down here you don't have the little shield. And you have this right here to pop up. Now, the bad thing about Avast that I don't like, you have to register in order to get the product for free. Um, but, you know, you get it for 14 months. I mean, every year you'll just pretty much have to register, but it's no big deal. Just go to their home page, uh, their home registration page, and register. Uh, you do that by clicking right here. It took me to the place where I can register for my uh, Avast. Uh, right here, I'm a new user, so I'm going to click right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and register, and then it's going to... Uh, uh, give me a key code to enter in. Okay, when it gives you a key code, which basically is going to be uh, in your email, you have to go to your email and get the registration key from there. Once you do that, um, you can go right here and, uh, well, actually, you go down here, you right click on the A, and then you go to start a Avast Antivirus. This right here is going to pop up, asking for the registration key. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to copy the registration key, then we're going to paste it in here. And then we're going to click OK. It's going to say thank you, and bam, everything's fine, it's going to start the uh, test. Okay, once it's finished, it's going to come up with this interface. Now this is the only thing I don't like about a bus. You know, it looks like a car a CD player or something. This is the only thing I don't like about them. But anyhow, uh, this is what the interface is, and you know, just explore around, you know, see what some of the settings are and stuff like that. Now, another thing uh, about antivirus too, I forgot to also tell you, if you have a real slow computer, uh, or a computer with very low memory, or an old computer uh, that's really slow, a good antivirus for that would be uh, Avera's antivirus. What you would do is you go to Google, type in Avera antivirus, uh, it should be the first link right here and you would just download theirs. Theirs is also free as well. Uh, one thing good about them, you ain't got to uh, register. But you just pretty much download them and install them. I'm not going to go into details on Avera, but Avera is a pretty good antivirus if you have an old or slow computer. But anyhow, I'm out of time for this one. My next tutorial is going to be about installing a good um, anti-spyware because that's another thing that you're going to need. Uh, anyhow, to get to that next tutorial, just click here.